wanted to show you the um, the one with the hidden compartment in it, if I have it. Well, what the idea is, you're supposed to put a lock of your hair in it. Okay. And that way the wand can never be used against you. Montana is a magical place, known for grand mountains, giant rivers, and maybe a little bit of hand craftsmanship. In this episode of Odd Jobs, we talk to Forrest, a magic wand maker. I'll pick it up, and it'll tell me where it wants to be. I really don't know until I get going on it. First time we did Moscow, Idaho, Ren Fair. Never been there. It's one of the oldest west of the Mississippi. Not so much a Ren Fair as a big party. We brought 380 wands to the event. We ran out by two o'clock on the second day. There was a line out in my tent, James, like I was giving away nachos. It was nuts. So my wands are very affordable. Um, you can get one as little as $10. All three of these are $10 a piece. Or you can go as extravagant as getting to the selenite wand or the snake head wand, which is 100. If you're at a Ren Fair and you're wearing your costume, you want, you want to be able to wear your wand where you go. Sure. And we do a whole line of holsters. Some of them have nice danglers as a dragon head. See this here? This is where you put a piece of paper with the wand's name. We name every wand we make. Every one of these wands is made by hand. These are just my basic standard wand stock. You start out with just regular old wood dowel. And then we go to the staining, what kind of colors. Everybody gets a different one. All my wands are unique. There are no two alike. First thing you want to do is you want to pick out what finial do we want to put on the wand. We're going to do this blue one. There's a hole in the finial. And I have to put a pin in it, just a little, little dowel. Okay, because when I finish that, there'll be a nail goes through that post. So then we want to pick out what do we want the handle to be. Here you go, James. This will be better. Let's go with that blue. Cut it to size. We start out, just put it on with hot glue so it'll hold still. And then just let it wait till it sets. One thing that happened to me, I've been making wands 22 years now, and I'm, arthritis runs in the family. And sometimes after a long day of making wands, my hands hurt like heck. But I want it to dribble down like hot candle wax. How does it look? Oh, it's cool. Last year I, I would go to an event and we got wiped out in Albuquerque. We had to come home, make a bunch of wands from Moscow. I told you about 308, ran out. I got an event in two weeks. And I don't like being under that kind of pressure because I want to make them beautiful. I want them to be individual instead of just running them off as fast as I can go. And people ask me, oh, do you sell them online? And I go, you know, I've tried and tried to sell them online. You got to pick them up. It's just, that's what it is. You got to pick them up. But it's just cooler than heck. It's a one off too, you know, yeah. where are you going to find another one? It's the only job I've ever loved, James. In Great Falls, I'm James Rowland, MTN News.